Have you been diagnosed with frozen shoulder, also known as adhesive capsulitis? We have this thickening and decrease of mobility within the glenohumeral joint or our shoulder joint. So if so, I'm going to show you four tips that you can do to try to improve your pain and mobility at home. The first thing we're going to do is called pendulum exercises. So we're going to say that it's my left shoulder that's affected. I'm going to lean over, put my hand on the table here, and I'm going to make circles. You know, just clockwise or counterclockwise, I may swing my arm left to right back and forth for maybe a minute or two minutes. And I would do that several times a day, and I can even repeat that for three to five uh, repetitions or sets. And that's just a good way to increase the blood flow to the area, kind of get the joint moving. It's nice and safe. Of course, it's very low impact. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Now I'm going to show you we're going to use a cane. So if you have a piece of PVC pipe, it doesn't have to be very big, about, you know, two and a half, three feet long here. And we're going to start off with this line down our back. Now the reason we're going to start lying down is because once I get past 90 degrees on my back, gravity is going to help kind of bring my arm back. What I'm going to do with this is I'm using my right hand, because again, my left shoulder is the one that's affected. I'm using my right hand to kind of help pull my left shoulder and arm overhead. So I'm going to lie down here. We're going to start with a pillow behind my back first. And as I progress to go all the way to sitting up, and I can add more pillows to kind of gradually increase uh, the incline that I'm on. And what I'm going to do is, is just pull this back just like that just as far as I can go and then back down. Again, once I get past 90 degrees and start to go overhead, this will get a little bit easier um, because of gravity is assisting. You're gonna also notice just a small heads up here. When you come down at about this mark, so down in this area right here, you're gonna notice or feel like there's kind of a catch or a grab that starts to happen. That's a normal um, response, a normal thing that happens. All my patients for the past 20 years have experienced that. So there's that little spot that you kind of have that little catch that happens there. And then you could progress to sitting up. And so again, it's my left shoulder that's affected. It will probably look something like that with the right arm, you know, kind of leading and bringing that left arm up. And again, you would repeat this 10 to 15 repetitions, maybe, you know, two to three sets a few times a day. And it really doesn't matter how far apart or how close together you have your hands, just whatever that feels best to you as far as the spacing goes, you can just go with that. There's no exactly where you have to have um, your arm or hand. Now I'm going to show you a joint distraction exercise. And you know, a lot of people just do regular shoulder stretches. I like to add a little bit of a, a joint mobility to that too, um, by taking a towel or a small blanket, you know, kind of rolled up like this. I'm going to put this under my left arm because remember it's my left shoulder that's affected. So just like this. All right. And then what I'm going to do is take my other hand, grab my wrist and I'm pulling down and across my body. So down and across my body. And I'm going to hold that. And I would hold it somewhere between 15 to 20 seconds, maybe even 30 seconds. And I'll repeat that maybe three to five times, several times a day. And you're going to really feel that stretch down deep in the joint, especially when you add that towel or blanket roll underneath the arm there. The next thing that we need to do, and really one of the most important things, is to make sure that our rotator cuff muscles are functioning like they should. We want to make sure that we're keeping them nice and strong and having good contraction. So we're going to show you, so I'm going to show you two exercises that I really like that are super simple to do. The first exercise we're going to do with this is going to be a shoulder external rotation. So I just have one of these bands here. Again, you can buy these in sets on my Amazon uh, favorites on my website. There's a really great set of these bands that you can go to and purchase. They're pretty inexpensive. And I had the anchor put within the door over here and I just have it fastened nice and nice and secured here. Put my elbow by my side. If you have trouble keeping your elbow and arm in, you can take that same towel roll I had before and put it right down here underneath the elbow to make sure that you're keeping that tucked in close to your side because a lot of times people start to kind of bring the arm all out here to the side and want it very controlled and very strict right by your side initially. You can always progress past that but we're going to start with this. So shoulder external rotation. So just taking this here and I'm going out just like this and I would go somewhere between 10 to 15 repetitions, maybe two to three sets and I would do that a couple times a day. That's going to be the shoulder external rotation exercise. Now I have the same band over here fastened to the door and I'm going to keep my elbow next to my side and now we're going to do a shoulder internal rotation. So elbows in and I'm going to bring my hand over in towards my abdomen just like that. 
Again, you want to make sure that you don't end up bringing the elbow and kind of flailing all around. You want to keep it nice and tucked in. Start with that. You can always progress to different movements as far as the positioning of the elbow and the shoulder. But down here, nice and secure to your side is a great way to start doing that exercise. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps. Make sure you head on the website, chadgeortho.com, where you're going to find information related to orthopedic therapy, rehabilitation, sports medicine, and links to all my favorite products. Thanks so much.